Closing markets for Friday, May the 7th. Markets continued higher last night, setting new highs in corn and soybeans during the overnight session. China markets were also higher, with corn trading up 22 cents and beans up 52 cents on the Dalian exchange. Vegetable oils were also led higher last night, with palm oil being the leader. The USDA did announce sales this morning of 1.36 million metric tons of corn to China for 21-22, an unknown, possibly China, bought 86,868 metric tons of corn for 2021 and 101,600 metric tons of corn for 21-22. This added support after the opening and the markets rallied to, to get close to the highs but then quickly sold off, filling the gaps that we had left from the higher opening last night. But as the day progressed, more weather concerns came on, especially dry weather in the West and in the South America, and the market rallied back to close near the highs of the day. For the week, July corn was up 63 cents. December corn was up 80 cents. Soybeans on the July up 67, and November beans for the week were up a dollar and eight cents. This market looks way overdue for a sell-off, but every time it seems to start, Funds come back in and buy the market, so we'll have to see what happens. StatsCan released their stocks report today. They had wheat stocks at 16.2 million metric tons, down 0.5 from the estimates and 2.6 below last year. Canola stocks were 6.6 .6 metric tons, down 0.1 from the estimates and 4.0 below last year. Oat stocks were unchanged and barley stocks were down were 2.8 million metric tons, down 0.5 from the estimates and 0.7 below last year. On the economy, new hires were up 266,000, but well below the estimates. They also lowered the previous estimates for March by 146,000 jobs and February by 68,000 jobs. We currently have 7.4 million jobs open in the United States looking for employees. Florida, South Carolina, and Montana have all announced that they were dropping the $300 subsidy from the federal government to encourage people to go to work, 18 other states are considering the same thing. Lumber continues to go higher, trading at $1,666 per board or thousand board feet. The dollar was down 731 points today. Gold was up 1680 and silver up 58. Crude oil was up three cents at 64.84. Stocks were all higher with Dow futures up 267, Nasdaq up 119, and the S&P up 33. Next crop report will be out Wednesday, May the 12th, and it will include the first numbers for the 21-22 crop. We will be discontinuing the daily YouTube market comments like this starting Monday. We will do them on Tuesdays and give you the numbers for the crop condition report and on the days of crop reports like May the 12th. All right, if you have any comments or thoughts, please share. Thanks for watching.